This is the Aerodome 2 tent from a company called Zempire. It's another inflatable tent that you can pump up, so it's really quite quick to inflate at the campsite. So this is our first test pitch of this tent in the garden, so we're just going to give it a try, see what it looks like. So already I quite like this. Normally you get some ribbons to secure your tent when you roll it back up. These ones have actually got some good size straps and I think that's a quite a good design touch. So on the Zempire tents, the inflation is slightly different to many other tents such as Outwell or Van Gogh, in that the valves aren't on the outside, they're on the inside. So just to the right of the, the porch on the Aerodome 2, there's this little flap that you open, and here you'll find the inflation valve. And then you put the Zempire pump in there, which comes with a pressure gauge, and you start pumping. So that's the tent pumped up, a bit of exercise, it didn't take too long as you saw to go up. So we started off with the valve here, we went round and did the valve over, got in that side to do the cross and then we did the valve for the back end and then the porch, so that's, that's four valves that you have to pump up. But you see it's gone up fairly quick so we'll just finish getting it sorted out. Okay so we've pegged it out a little bit, we've not fully set it up. As you see, there's still straps here at the front that we've not picked out in our garden. But this is the porch area, and it's got a big zipped front door. And you get a decent size actually in that porch. So it's, it's quite good that you actually get an inflatable tent and you've got this inflatable porch area here. Great place to actually put your wet things. A nice rain safe way of getting in and out of your tent if the weather does turn bad. Let's have a look inside. Inside it's a vis-a-vis a, a -vis layout which basically means you've got a bedroom on one side and a bedroom on the other side that faces each other. It's about three people per bedroom, perhaps two making it really comfortable and then you've got this large sort of living area and space. You do also have this rear door at the back as well if you want to open that up and there's vents on the top and around to get plenty of ventilation. This is one of the bedrooms. Now as you see the layout of this means that your sleeping bag is a single seat adult sleeping bag. As you see you'll get one, two, three sleeping bags and they're going in that direction in the tent. There's obviously a big zip door which we've just fully unzipped at the moment. Other few little nice little touches in here. You've got storage pockets in the bedroom on the inside and the outside to make it easy to grab things. You've got this large vent here as well that you can open so really good for summertime when you can have this all open and, and get some extra air in the tent and there's another little feature as well and that other little feature is electrical cord entrance for each of the bedroom pods so if you're on a electrical hookup you can have powered lighting and chargers for other gadgets within each bedroom so if you get a Zempire Aerodrome, you'll have in your pack this little bit of material. You may be wondering where that goes. Well, that goes up there. What you have here is a lantern hook that spreads its way across the four air beams at the top. Now, one of the things you'll find on the Zempires that's a little bit different for UK tents, although you often see it in American tents and and Zempire actually from New Zealand. But the difference is, is they have the mesh 
the ventilation mesh on the outside and normally in the UK we cover that up to protect from the rain. Now when this is fully pegged out you do have this big strap and shelter to keep some of the rain off of this area but I'm just going to test it out just to see how wet it gets. Well, so we're simulating a, a bit of a, a downpour, perhaps not as strong as some of the downpours we get. And the rain is, is moving off a little bit. It is still on the inside. So I think what we'll do is we'll go inside and have a check. So we're inside the bedroom and our simulated rain's coming down on the other side. So let's have a look. First of all, we'll undo this mesh here. And as you can see, there's no water anywhere near the bedroom. You can't even get to that area normally if you just have this mesh. So we're going to unzip this one here. And we've just got a bit of thread pull here. Okay. So the rain's still coming down here. There's absolutely no leaks on the inside at all. So we're going to do something you probably wouldn't do in a rainstorm, and that's open this. Okay, so now I've got this open, we are seeing some rain. Stop the rain, please! So, we've got a little bit of water on the inside here. That's the outer fly sheet so getting water on there is, is what it's meant to do um, a little bit has come in through the mesh that's on the outside of the tent um, and it's not surprising given the amount of water we're directly spraying at it and I was touching it as well which will make the water come through so really with this sort of tent it does work but you may want to leave it partially zipped when it's going to be wet or fully zipped when you're going out for the day and you leave in your tent or if it's warm and dry and it's really hot such in the summertime you can unzip it all so the mesh on the outside it, it does work 